one, part two. My name is Mark Campbell. I'm an advanced level rap facilitator coming to you from Toronto, Canada. I rap to live well. I rap to feel well. And I rap to function well. Yes, that's my rap story. And the story of many others who have taken rap and applied the principle of rap to their lives. This is the first full video of eight videos that will be presented at a high level. My goal is to pique your interest in taking the full rap course so that you can have full control over your life. Before we wrap, I wanna again say kudos to Mary Ellen Copeland and her friends for creating this awesome program more than 20 years ago from their own life experience. I also wanna thank the Copeland Center for their ongoing support with our biannual rap facilitator training that helps us perfect our rap stories as well as maintain committed to the fidelity of rap. So welcome back, glad you came back, excellent choice. So now let's rap. First and foremost, what does the acronym RAP stands for? RAP represents Wellness Recovery Action Plan and it is part of a four-part study uh, of mental health recovery. The program starts with the five key concepts, which then takes us to our wellness tools, and of course, the six RAP plans and other recovery topics. So RAP is not only about mental health, because there's RAP for the workplace, uh, RAP for self-esteem, etc., etc. At this point, I want to share with you what the five key concepts are in order. They are hope, personal responsibility, education, self-advocacy, support, and of course that includes giving and receiving support. So as I said before, the five key concepts are hope, personal responsibility, education, self-advocacy, and support. I have listed them for you. Please take a look at them, these five concepts, because we now have an activity time. I'd like for you to engage in this activity with me. What I'd like for you to do is find a blank and trace your fingers. So trace your fingers and a blank sheet of paper. It should look like this. So now that you've drawn your fingers, I want you now to write each of those recovery topics that I told you in each finger. So write hope in one finger. Write personal responsibility in one finger. Write education in another finger. Write self-advocacy in one finger. And write support in the last finger. Once you've completed that, then what I'd like for you to do now is create your own definition in layman's term for each of those uh, five key concepts. So take a, a few minutes. What does hope mean to you? Write a quick sentence or a couple words. What does hope mean to you? You're gonna do the same thing for personal responsibility. What does personal responsibility mean to you? You're gonna do the same thing for education. What does education mean to you? And then you'll do it for self-advocacy. What does self-advocacy mean to you? And last but not least, you're gonna write what support means to you. You've come up with your own definition for each of them, one or two words. It should look something like this. Here's my example, just off the top of my head. Uh, you can read some of them. Some of them you might not be able to make out, but uh, uh, the real point is that you have your own definition and it would eventually look like this. Great job, I wish. I could see all your fingers that you've drawn and all your statements you have written for each of those five key concepts. But don't forget to send them to me at the end in the comment box. You can also um, email me at gowithbart at gmail.com to engage in some more conversation. So let me give you the actual definition. So I'm going to read directly from the Copeland Center definition. Hope means 
we can work towards and meet our goals and we can achieve wellness for a long period of time, okay? Personal responsibility means that we are the expert on ourselves. We know what we need, we know what we want. So it's about time we start listening to ourselves. Education means we need to discover all we need to learn about ourselves so that we can decide what treatment or what plan of action is best for us. Self-advocacy becomes, a, you become a strong advocate for yourself. Mean going for it with courage, persistence, and determination, always respecting what it is that we want for ourselves. And last but not least, we could benefit from having five good supporters, people that can support us. And it doesn't have to be just friends or family. It could be a professional team, like a doctor, a chiropractor, a lawyer, a therapist. And so when we're doing the five key concepts, having hope, taking personal responsibility, educating ourselves on ourselves, self-advocating for ourselves, enjoying the benefit of giving support and receiving support, We've just laid the foundation for a wrap. And to build on that with our wrap plans, we're gonna start the next video with a wellness tool. So come back again in our next video and let's learn about wellness tools. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That's a wrap.